Gemini, to your July shopper reading. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, look, I got this new mat going on for those of you who watch Chakra. So this beautiful new mat to help us and uh, put all the rocks out. So making it more Chakra, <laughs> I guess is what it is. So, um... Yeah, anyways, so I do have the cards. They are pre-shuffled and um, get right into that. I pre-shuffled them because we don't want to be here all day waiting to do so, but I didn't want to lay them out because I wanted to show you guys my new mat. I thought it was really awesome and I thought you guys might enjoy that. So getting right into this, we have the, the, the deck has been done. So we have the release. This is going to be your crown chakra. So it's knowing that you need to release something um, or it's the getting to know that you need to release something, right? If it's not open, then you need to know you need to release. If you already have it open, you know that you need to release this, right? So, <clears throat> okay, release something. And then we have the awareness. Yes, being aware. They're very beautiful because as you can see here, this is the crown chakra, so very nice having the knowing that you need to release something. And the next card is what your soul wants you to know is strength. I have deep inner strength and glorious vitality. Let me just move this over just a little bit. And the angels want you to know success. By doing all of this, you will have success. The success that you are looking for. Law of Attraction card is I get what I think about, wanted or not. And the animal you have is be the camel, be forbearing and patient. Beautiful, right underneath the awareness. And the two tarot cards for you is the five of wands. And justice. It feels like you are fighting for justice, fighting for your rights. That's exactly how it feels. Um, fighting what you, fighting for what you feel needs to be justified, right? Fighting for that truth. Okay, so getting right in here to the next deck. I did not do these yet, so we will do these. These are the chakra cards themselves, and we will shuffle these, and these will be the overall meaning for the cards. So far, you have um, crown chakra. Very beautiful. Right in crown chakra. So let's see what next. What is next for Gemini? Base chakra. So going straight from the top of the head. Wow. Going straight from the top straight to the bottom wow so yeah you need to get your base your base chakra open you need to keep that open so that you can get straight to the crown so that way you have the foundations and the understanding because this is the base chakra this is i have i have the knowledge right i have the knowing i have the intuition the innate wisdom to understand that something needs to be released within my life very beautiful. Okay, so let's see what's going on here with the release. The release says, putting this up here so you can see it. I don't know if you can see that real close, but she's like standing in a graveyard and it just feels like everything around her is just, she's just like in complete mourning. It's just standing in the rain, everything, you know, oh my gosh, right? <clears throat> so she's just got this storm going around her in this graveyard. This graveyard needs to be released, right? It's like you're standing miserable. Just She just looks miserable. She's just like, uh, oh. but what I love about this card though, oops, what I do love about this card, I hope you can see it, is <clears throat> up in here there is this, you see this ray of sunshine coming down. You see the sun trying to peek out at the top. So she's standing over here in this just miserable gray storm, but yet the sun is trying to peek out. So it is telling you, once you release this, the rays of sunlight will come, right? There's that silver lining. So you have to love that. 
I hope you can see that. So, but yes, and that's exactly what you're getting to. You're trying to get back here where this sun is trying to shine, but it almost feels like she's lost. Like she can't get out. <clears throat> In fact, the name of the card is called the Shadow Gray Storm. And the title is, I can no longer keep your secrets. So that's very interesting. Okay, so this card is about personal responsibility and release of blame. It is time to clear the debris and move on. You cannot move forward while you continue to hide. Okay, you can't move forward unless you release whatever it is you guys need to release. Okay, it's dwelling in the past. That's really what I feel. I feel it's dwelling in the past. Okay, you need to change the consciousness. Now, that's interesting because it is the, the, you know, it is the crown chakra. And here's the consciousness twice coming up saying, you need to change your, the way you're thinking. Change your conscious mind. Open up to your innate wisdom to understand how you're thinking. So, yeah, you have to ha have an idea of, can I see clearly? Do I understand what I'm doing um, do I understand the thoughts that I'm actually, you know, producing in my mind? Do I, do I see clearly? That's really what this is about. It's, it's every time you're saying these, these things and dwelling in the past or saying these negative things or thinking about the negative things, you're allowing, allowing your logical mind to continue. Well, now you're going to be aware of what your logical mind is actually doing. By using your innate wisdom, by using your higher self, right? You're using your intuition. You're going to open up your intuition and you're going to say, wait a minute, why am I thinking about these things? Those things are affecting me, but there are things from the past that no longer really affect me at all, except for through my mind. And that's pretty much where you're going to release it. Because that's what it's telling us. Release it through the mind. Become aware of what you're thinking. Okay. And it's right here. Word is right underneath it. I'm going to just go straight down because this is all definitely about thinking, you guys. I get what I think about, want it or not. If you keep thinking about the negative, which obviously you are here, you're going to get negative results. But once you become aware of the negative results, thinking you're going to wake up and say, you know what? I don't want that anymore. I want to get the positive. So now I'm going to start thinking more positive and now I will start getting things positive back at me, getting rid of the negative cycles. Okay. So the card, the law and attraction card says it makes no difference whether you want the specifics of it or not. It is the vibrational essence of the subject of your attention that is being attracted. You're thinking about it. That's what's on your mind. That's what you're attracting. That's what your attention is. That which you really, really want, you get. And that which you really, really do not want, you get. So very beautiful that they all sit together. Because this is why your soul is telling you, strength. I have deep inner strength and glorious vitality. Find the strength within yourself to release whatever it is you do not want whatever thoughts you are thinking. And this is a battle. And when I see this battle here, you're saying, I'm battling. What are you battling? What is it next to? The awareness. You're battling your own thoughts every day. You're battling the negative thoughts. Why? Because you know the truth, but, you know, it's, you know the truth. It's justified within yourself, but it's holding you back. So to get to the success, you need to get rid of this internal battle of thinking. Okay. So yeah, then you're going to be the camel before forbearing and patient. So, you know, what is this camel really saying? You know, what is it really? What is it really telling us? The camel is telling us you are blessed to receive this card of wisdom sitting. Wow. Right above the awareness card. So. It suggests you hold golden wisdom in your divine blueprint and that in your life plan you have contracted to share with this with humanity. This path calls on you to practice patience, forbearance, and humility. 
Yeah. You may feel ahead of your time. Many will sense the light you carry and will react to it in many different ways. So you will need to stay in balance whatever is happening around you. See what's happening around you. Be aware of what's really happening around you. Be aware of what you're thinking. And that's really what this is gonna be. It's gonna actually be more of, become aware of the thoughts that you have within yourself. Sit quietly, place a golden sparkling light around you, okay, and call upon your divine. Call up, you know, make your prayers, manifest. Call upon your higher self, whoever it is your divine is. Then expect the deep knowing held in your soul to start coming forward. Then that strength will start coming out because you're going to become more aware of, why am I thinking about this so much? Why do I let this hold me back? That was three years ago. I'm not even in the same place as I was then. Some people hold on to this stuff for so long and it has no influence on their life at all except for in your mind and how you hold yourself. And when I mean hold yourself, I mean within yourself, holding it deep within yourself. It recluses you, it holds you back from the world. But it could have happened three years ago and you can't move forward. That's not what your soul wants you to do. It wants you to release it. Take it as a life lesson. We all have life lessons. We all live through this, the battles, but we have to find the real truth and make it justified. And the, you know, it's funny, we're using your own cards for this because deep down inside, you really know the truth. You know you're having some kind of mind battle every day. How are you gonna love and carry forward if you keep worrying about how that partner tr treated you? How are you gonna love if you can only remember how they deceived you. Not everybody on this planet is going to deceive you and hurt you. But you carry that with you as a fear. So that is what chakra is about. Releasing so that the positive can come through. And if it happens again, what do we do, guys? What do we do? We get up and we do it all over again. We heal again. We pick ourselves back up off that, off the ground and we do it again. Okay, so let's get in here. Grounding yourself with the base chakra, knowing your roots and where you came from, getting back to yourself, getting back to your own roots, getting back to yourself, being the person that you really truly are, allowing the pain, the anger, the battle to go away. Nine of staffs, standing on the release, the awareness, and now getting down here with the nine of swords. You have the nine of staffs with the nine of swords. Okay, well, yeah, but you know, here we go. Okay, nine of steps. I'm hurt, but I'm determined to pick myself up and fight. Come to the resolution of supporting and building up yourself. Finding the values within yourself. This battle has worn you out, but you need to start taking care of it, releasing it. Find the foundations, oops, with the base chakra, find the foundations to start battling this and become more determined to release this pain. The Nine of Swords, yes. Maybe you're having insomnia. You've broken yourself down with anxiety, worry. Fear, I feel, I feel a lot of fear for somebody. There's a lot of fear. I said it even once before, the fear of not letting it go. The fear because maybe your 
feel like you're in self-protection mode and you're protection, you're, you're like protecting yourself. Stop doing that. It's natural instinct to do so, but you don't have to be so over protective of yourself that you're not allowing yourself to grow or to release because you're just keeping yourself in fear. Fear of others hurting you. Fear that this will happen again. If I do this and that, then they'll be able to attack me. No, no, you're going to gain, your, your soul says no, you're going to gain strength. No more of this. Gain the strength, inner strength to get past it. Page of swords, sitting on the awareness and the strength. Look at that, ten of swords upside down. No more, there's, a, there's only hope. From now on, you're going to communicate with yourself, with your higher self, with the divine, you're going to get in touch with yourself and there's only hope. Getting rid of the Ten of Swords, getting rid of the Nine of Swords and bringing that hope back to yourself. Knowing that this is where the inner strength is going to come from. From where? This Page of Swords. You may even have a Page of Swords around you. Okay, do you, you have an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra that can also help you gain that strength back? Someone who can help you along this journey. Otherwise, if not, it's just that page of swords is just telling you, you can do this. You have the communication, the change, and the clarity within yourself to do this. You're going to become aware of it. And that's that clarity of the page of swords, right? Taking back what's yours. Strength, uh, strength success. Five of Wands and the Justice. Bringing back the love between you and your own soul. Bringing back the love of yourself. Having the cooperation within yourself to understand things. Could even be the cooperation of just, like I said, you and the Divine. Understanding yourself. Getting back your logical and, it's like, hold on one second. It's like your logical mind and your higher self, your soul self, coming together. Coming together as cooperation is in one to build that strength back together. It's almost, it almost looks just like this. Oh my God, it does. Look at that. You see, this is almost like him and then her together as one, building that vitality together, becoming whole with yourself. You're getting yourself balanced within your energy. Your chakras are becoming balanced. The energy within yourself is doing exactly what it's supposed to do to make the beautiful connection and communion of self. of cups because I'm going to now get the achievements that I want, gain the strength, get rid of the five of wands. I don't need the five of wands because the five of wands gives me the seven of cups. It gives me no options, no opportunities to move forward, to get my 10 of cups, to become the person that I need. Success with the ace of staffs, becoming a new fresh me. I can hold out the olive branch to myself and say, look at what I've accomplished, knowing that I am free, free of all of this. Having the two of staffs able to look out and be more determined on where I can go now, knowing that I've let go of the fear and the pain and the this and the that and the negative and that negative backpack on my back. Finding the Ace of Cups. I feel like I'm just running over. I feel so free, so full of everything. The sun coming in. Yeah, I have freedom. You will feel free. You released it. Feel free. You have freedom now to be yourself. You've aimed high. You've taken the steps up to getting your balance, to releasing the negative, to taking the spiritual journey. Look at the spiritual journey, look at it here. Holding the olive branch out to yourself to grow. Here's your truth. 
You want to know what your real truth is? You had your truth over here in justification, but here's your real truth. Your real truth is you seen everything, you grew, you got rid of everything, and that's the absolute justice of it all. Why? Because that's the ultimate judgment. Now you have the judgment and the justice coming out. So this is blow your horn, toot your horn, and tell them, look at what I've done. Look at me. You can't hurt me. Say what you will. Say what you will. But you can't hurt me anymore because I'm not thinking about that anymore. The only time that you need to think about this is when you're going back to say, look where I came from. Because, like I told Taurus, do not just push this under the rug. You don't put a rug over spilt milk. It rots. It does not go away. And when that spilt milk comes back up and all this pain that you've hidden comes back up, and that's pretty much what this card is saying, you've hidden these pains. You never, you never healed from these pains. You, you hid them. And now they're coming back. <clears throat> and they will always come back from the grave to haunt you. Past memories coming back to haunt you because you've never healed from them, you put a rug over it. Do not do that. Because as people, we all have problems. Everybody has a past. Everybody has problems. We are human. Everybody has obstacles, pain, challenges. We have to defeat them. That's why you have to become this sword, this page of swords. You're gonna go out there and defeat this. You're gonna defeat it so that way you can say, Instead of saying, oh, no, 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 I don't want to talk about that. That hurts. That hurts. No, you're not going to do that anymore. You're going to say, yeah, you know, I had problems once before. I did this and I did that. And yeah, this jackass did this to me one time. Yeah. He was a fool. You know, or, or she was a fool. However you want to see it. But it's not going to be one of those things where it's like, no, 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 don't say that. I don't want to think about that. That hurts. No, 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 no. You're going to be able to talk about it like it was yesterday's news. There is no pain to it because you've healed from it. That's what true spiritual growth and healing is, is being able to say, I used to do this, whether I don't care how bad it was. And you're saying, I'm not that same person. Or I can trust other people because just because Jack over here or, Jen, or Jessica, or whoever did this to me, doesn't mean that Mark and Mindy over here are gonna do that to me, because they're not them. But instead, what people do is they get scared of Mark and Mindy because Jack and Jessica did this. You can't do that. It's not even fair to Mark and Mindy, because you're hiding, okay? That's what this is all about. This is the spiritual growth, getting yourself balanced to understand the true awareness and the true growth within. Understanding everybody has problems. The devil will always come up in your life till death. But it's getting past those obstacles and challenges to grow and say, it's okay, I can go forward with the Knight of Staffs and I can even look backwards and say, yeah, that's where I came from. Hey, where'd you come from? We've all had tower moments and we've all had pain and we've all had three of swords one way or another. And if you haven't had it now, you'll have it later. Plain and simple. And if you run into people that say, I've never had that, they're lying. It's probably because they're over here in this area where they're like, don't talk about it, don't talk about it. No, it's never happened. Okay. So yeah, your soul says, yep, we all have problems, but we're getting this chariot moving. We're going to bless ourselves, move forward, grow into the light, grow into the positivity. Look, we can even look back on the chariot and later we can look back and say, that's where we came from. These are my stepping stones and everybody's got them. And that's a road I don't want to have again. But you'll become smarter about it because you'll be more aware of it. See, that's, there you go. There you go. Becoming more aware of situations so you don't get yourself back into the same area. A lot of times you put that rug over that spilt milk, you're gonna spill the milk again because you never learned the lesson. You didn't become aware to how wretched that stinks when it starts to rot. Okay? So, that's the way it works.
and you will get there because you want to, because you're going to offer yourself the peace offering to yourself to get to where you want to be. And you're going to have a beautiful focus in the near future for this. Then you have success. The angels say you will have future success. You do what you're supposed to do in this reading and listen and pay attention. You will have success. You will have success with the Six of Swords. Lots of moving, lots of movement, lots of growth, and lots of healing. Okay? And you will what? Find the ultimate justice and the ultimate judgment for yourself. The ultimate good news, the ultimate truth of the situations at hand. Okay? And that was the reading for you. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.